Too much candy, a lucky ricochet, and then know your enemy, guys. Is this a too much candy game? It might be. It might actually be, guys. Lucky ricochet, no. Sniper crest, eh. Okay, let's just scout. No, no. Uh, I wouldn't with these items. If he does it, he's dumb. No. 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 Okay. Too much candy it is. Oh, there's a Kogma. Very good. A very good, guys. There we go. We're committed. Uh, boom, boom, boom. There we go. So the way challengers play this augment. This is a good augment. But you gotta play it properly. Your rerolls cost zero gold. Every six rerolls, the cost goes up by one gold. At the start of each stage, your rerolls cost is reset to zero. So the way you play it is, you play a uh, reroll comp, mostly one cost, mostly Kogma. Because that is like one of the only comps that is good right now. So you want to play Kogma reroll. You play Kogma reroll with Caitlyn, with Cho'Gath. You need a Cho'Gath 3 star. The most important thing about Kogma reroll is you want to have a Cho'Gath 3 star as well. The Caitlyn doesn't need to be 3 star. The, the Malphite doesn't need to be 3 star. It is very nice if you have them as well though. It is very nice to 3 star all of these mother truckers. This is our level 5 team and then you add this. It is very good to have all of these guys 3 star but it's not needed. Caitlyn or Kogma Chuga, that's the bare minimum. And then you push levels. If you have a lot of Caitlyns and a lot of Malphites, you might as well try to 3 star them as well. But then you push levels, you just add more Mythic, right? You just add more Mythic. And you're chilling, right? That is your team, that is your strategy. Uh, the reason why this augment is good is you just do nothing. You just do nothing, and then before Krugs, you uh, roll down, or at Krugs, you roll down. Shen offers you a choice of starter packs, complaining champions and augments. I mean, uh, and item, and, co and one component. The thing is, the component for snipers is probably like a bad item, right? Like bow or something, but honestly, it's not even that bad. Behemoths, I think I'll go Up for a this. showdown. Nice, I got a bunch of the, this girl. It's gonna probably a bow, right? Oh, it's a sword, that's... I mean, it's okay, because, uh, Caitlyn... I mean, honestly, don't I just cook them with this already, yeah. I cooked the uh, mythic stacks already. Okay, so you do nothing right now, and then you just send it here. And during Krogs, you just send it. And then after Krogs, it resets. And you want to send it deep. But the thing is, I have a lot of units here on in my hand already, so I won't have as much gold. And obviously, we want blue buff. But we might not even lose this. He has Gargantuan Titans, Yone. He's going to be a menace late game. He's going to be so hard to beat. Hopefully, he just doesn't hit. 3-star Yone. Checking this, the thingies. No one's playing Mythic Sniper. Except for me. I'm second pick. Hopefully I can get this. There's one really important item, of course, on Kogma. Looks like we'll get it. Nice. It's a three cost as well. We get the blue buff. <sighs> you piece of garbage, man. You absolute piece of garbage. Get out of here, brother, man. Alright, nice. We got it. Why not roll on three for one cost? Uh, the reason why you don't do that is, yes, you have a higher chance to roll on 3 for 1 cost. I did that. that that's, that's the obvious thing to me, right? So I was doing that. That is a mistake. You will have no money. You need to build the interest rate here during those fights and then roll. So it is not worth. You will have zero money if you do that. I did that once and then I ended up with a bunch of Kog'Maws and then I just lost. Because I have no money. I have all these Kog'Maws on the bench but no money. And then I just lost, yeah. Do not do that, okay? Uh, we don't need this guy until late game, right? So we don't really buy this guy. Okay, so this is our team. We just roll down for this at level 4 and 5. And we're good to go. We buy only these units. And we just try to 3-star everything. We want uh, Rabadon's Nasher Spoof on Kogma or Rabadon's Gunblade. Both are fine. 
I would prefer Rabadon's Gunblade, honestly. But I would need three rods for that, which is kind of hard to get. Nasher's perfectly fine. It really depends on what we get here. Nice. If I somehow win this fight, I'm selling Ilawi. Because I really need all the money I can get. And Ilawi is probably not, never going to get three-starred with how many ghostly players are running around nowadays. Like, this guy is probably ghostly. I could even sell uh, a Caitlyn. Nah, Caitlyn three-star is really nice. And I have a surplus of swords, so I have to itemize her. I have too many swords. Diana, that Diana get buffed. What do I need to play that she can carry? She cannot carry, she's a tank, but you can play Soraka and Diana reroll with full heavenly and uh, dual carry. So you give Sor uh, Diana tank items and Soraka the AP carry items and it's a very strong comp right now. It's very viable. It's not a, I don't think it's S tier, but it's very viable. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm selling anything. But I'm willing to sell the Ilawi. If it makes I need money. Or if I get bench locked. Oh my right now, I'm about to get bench locked. Oh, sell Nico, I guess. Now the rerolls cost two. I think now I'm good, right? I'm not rolling anymore. Oh, frick. Maybe I should roll then. But I'm bench locked anyway. Loki, I don't want to roll. I don't want to roll if I'm bench locked. I got a Gunblade. I can go Gunblade Nashers. No Rabadons. There we go. Now they get reset to one, to uh, costing. This is so annoying, man. I mean, I have to sell Caitlyn for now, right? This world needs hope. I mean, that's insanely, that's an insanely good haul, right? Gunblade for sure. Armor on him. That's an insanely good haul. We still cost one gold. We will use them before the next stage, right? We will use those before the next stage. I think I want a 3-star Caitlyn, but I don't need to do it at level 4. I can do it later. I don't have a Ilawi, but I was bench locked, so I can't really do much. Cybernetic is not that good. Jewel Lotus is insane. Jewel Lotus is insane. Perfect. Okay. Alright, that's that's exactly how the augment is supposed to go. Uh, well executed. Everything worked well. We got lucky for sure, but that's good, right? We'll take it. We want Ionic Spark on the Cho'Gath, Bramble Vest, stuff like that, or maybe Gargoyles. Um, stuff like that, right? We'll see what we get. We're pretty strong now. We have 64 health left as well, so we don't really need to do anything. We're very rich. We can roll on 6 for uh, these guys, or we can just roll on 5. We'll see. And then you basically never want to roll for 3 gold, right? You only want to roll for 1, 2, and... Or 0, 1, and 2 gold. 2 gold is still fine. Remember, that's the usual roll. You just don't want to roll for 3. You just don't want to roll for 3 gold, okay? Okay. And now you just level, and you get a bunch of free rolls every single stage. And you can level up, and at level 8 you level up, and you just get a bunch of free rolls. Right? After like wolves or something. Or after after uh, chickens, and then you're just chilling, right? You have a bunch of free rolls at level 8, you get a 2 star Nautilus. You maybe get a Huey, and you push level 9. And then again, next stage, stage 6, boom. You get some more free rolls, you can fill out your legendaries. Like a boss, guys. It's really good. Too much candy, very good. Fancy two Trickster's glasses, that is extremely high value for me. I think I have to level. That is extremely high value for me because I have two three stars, insane. Uh, do I level here? I think we level, right? We level next turn, how does that sound? Level next turn for Ilawi because she adds a lot of value to our team. 
Wait, am I being dumb? No, no, she does. She does, yeah. She adds Arcanist and Ghostly. That's really good for us. Really good, right? And then we just keep these. We'll three-star them eventually. We're not gonna stay here. They are the least important ones. We got the most important ones. We're not gonna sell them, though. It's worth keeping them. Eventually, we can three-star them. Giant Slayer would be really good on her. I definitely want Rabadons as a lost item, but I also need Ionic Spark, so... Not sure, maybe I shouldn't be greedy. I should just go Giant... I feel like Giant Slayer on Kogma is just not that good. Because his whole point is he targets backline, right? At some point. Like, look at him. Jewel Lotus as well. He's Jewel Lotus up. He's double-cheeked up on a Tuesday afternoon, like a Bows guys with his booty. He's making the booty clap. Like a Bows guys, he makes the booty clap. 9.5k? It's not bad. That is not bad, guys. What are those items, bro? I mean, this is just criminal. You should get banned for that one, buddy. At least I get my cloak. I think Nashers is better. Nashers is better than Rabadons or better than Gunblade? Better than Gunblade, yeah. Just go Nashers, it's piss. Better than Gunblade for sure. But uh, I feel like Rabadons is needed. I know Nashers is good, don't get me wrong. But it is what it is. Like, what can I do? I have to use my rolls, my one cost rolls. Like, we have to slap items, right? I I'm, I'm not sure if I should go Gargoyles. It is really good. Should we go Gargoyles, guys? This comp has a lot of frontline, though. So maybe Gargoyles isn't that good. I think it's worth greeting. Greed for Ionic Spark. Like, Ionic Spark is literally a must-have, right? I could go Static Ship. I could go Static Ship. But I could just go Nasher's Tooth. Nasher's Tooth, no Rabadons. Five Mythic gives me AP. Nasher's Tooth, Ionic Spark. I feel so much better, right? And I feel like I'm strong enough with this insane encounter that gives me double, uh, double, double Trickster's Glass. I'm just so strong. Remember, we do not need heal reduction. Cho'Gath has built in very potent AoE heal reduction. Do not go heal reduction. By all the one costs to thin out the pool of these guys. Nobody's really going Kogma Mythics at the moment. Wait, what, what, what do people do then? <laughs> Upcoming uh, opponent for the rest of the game. That's good for me, I can position. What, 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 is the, what is the new meta build then, if they don't go Mythic? Gunblade and Rabadons are both plus Delta. Oh, really? Uh, what, 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 what is the new meta thing then, with Kogma? Or do you just mean no one plays it because it got nerfed? I still see it every once in a while when someone has a good spot. I had a really good spot. I had like four Cho'Gaths. No one plays it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it got buffed. The meta is still mythic. Okay, yeah, we're, do we're doing nothing wrong then. This is still the team. It got nerfed a little bit, but it seems fine to me. Remember, we can still roll our one cost rolls at Wolves, which we will do. Because that is just high value. Not sure how many I have left. I hope I win this fight. This guy is strong, but not ego strong. Level 2 star, Diana, but it's all good. I think I'm chilling. I mean, Gunblade is good, for, is decent for sure on Kogma. Alright, nice. We're chilling. Good win, good win. Alright, now we roll down. Hopefully, pick up like one more of these. Destination is clear. That's really good too. Travel awaits. There we go. Now they cost two gold. Not willing to roll further. Okay. You can use your two gold rerolls as well, right? So I'm not sure if I'm being greedy. I don't think so. Like I'm one off Malphite, but Malphite, like I'll just hit him later. It's fine. It doesn't make a big difference. I'll find him at some point. We are very rich, guys. We're very rich. We're not gonna use our rerolls right now. We're, we're on gold thingy as well. I got Nasher's tooth. I mean, look at this, man. We just got perfect items. I mean, this is just filthy now, man. 
I win the game for free. I'm not rolling. I don't need to. I think a double, double, double mall fight is decent here. More front line. We're not using those yet. We will use them uh, at chickens when we are level 8. Or we're gonna be level 8 here because we have so much money, right? We're freaking back, man. Level 8 there. Play 5 Mythic. Nautilus or Huey, whichever one we find. Hopefully Nautilus because we want more front line. Our Kogma is just gonna cook. I think we win, bro. I think we can win the game, man. It's actually so good. Yeah, I could play Warden, right? I could play Warden, but it's a one star, um, one star Ilawi, so it's it's insanely like it's not worth two star. Another two star Shogun is better, I think. Uh, I mean, healing orbs is good. You have my bow is good. I get Giant Slayer on her. Healing orbs is better, bro. No, I mean it's not magic one, right? It's not magic one. Like, bro, Giant Slayer on her. The thing is, attack speed. Nah, it's healing orbs, bro. It's healing orbs for sure. My Cho'Gath is not gonna die anymore. I could even level right now. Like, Loki, it's 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 worth to level right now. Bro, it's worth. And use my free rolls. Travel awaits. The last time I ate a plant was never. Every flower blooms to be seen. Every river ends in me. Bro, we're freaking back. But we're not even back. We were never gone. You feel me, guys? We were never gone. We were always here. We were always freaking here, man. Okay, I really need an Nautilus instead of this worthless Tom Kench. I can play 7 Mythic at 10. Is that even worth? Probably more worth to play Legendaries, no? It's probably worth to play 7 Mythic. Okay. We win the game. This is good. Huey can clean up mouth. Yeah. And, and you're, you're exactly right. Very good point. Huey can just print two Caitlyn's in two turns. One Malphite in one turn. GG. For free. Mythic Emblem, by the way, is the best thing you can get, right? Because then you can level 9 play 7 Mythic with Caitlyn Mythic Emblem. That's insane. You just win the game. That's actually insane. I could use my 1 cost rerolls. I'll use them before chickens again. It's all good. Alright, I mean, we're really strong. We just need a Bramble Vest or a Dragon... Uh, yeah, maybe a Bramble Vest on the Chuga. It's pretty good. The whole lobby is physical, right? Not the whole lobby, but a lot of the lobby is physical. A lot of the lobby is physical. This guy has 3-star uni already. I mean, he hit this augment, right? So, But he has no combat power. Except for Gargantuan, but isn't Gargantuan already enough? It is, right? No spatula. Um, I just want tank items. I don't need Sunfire. There's a there's a Nautilus. I'll take that. It's the fast heart. I don't think I'll get it, right? Yeah, it's already taken. I mean, this is good, though. We get Bramble Vest. Like, I want it. That's really good. Is Mythic still only MR this set? Brother, Mythic is completely... It's not Mystic. It's Mythic. Alright, GG. Uh, Brambler. Good stuff, 2 star girl. This guy's cooking, but we don't really want him, right? But might as well cook him up right now. We'll kick him for uh, the guy. If I reach level 10 though, I want him. So it's fine to have him. I will sell him though. She's big that we have her. Paired already, it's insane. I mean, I don't really need to reposition, right? This is all good. Oh, aren't we on, on Ash Encounters, so I should reposition? Like, I should always look for the enemies. I mean, this is perfect, right? Kai'Sa is getting sniped by the Caitlyn. He has a really good online. I might lose this. He has two-star Kai'Sa and a really good frontline. Pretty sure I'm losing this. His frontline is too strong. Look. Look at the Galio, bro. And the girl can skip my frontline. If she ults... Oh, if she doesn't ult... Oh, nice, bro. He goes crazy. 
Yeah, you can see how important Cho'Gath is, right? Cho'Gath is the most important thing for this comp. Obviously, you need a 3-star Kog'Maw, right? That's the whole comp. But, like, the, the cornerstone is this guy. Like, you really need both. You really need both, man. This guy is just gonna beat me. But he's pretty weak right now. He's level 7 hard stock, 0 gold. He's holding... He wants to go level 9 and play... Uh, level 8 and play Malphite. But we're chilling. <clears throat> Healing orbs literally revive Cho'Gath, yeah? I mean, this guy is just gonna beat me. But honestly, 1-star Kane, I'm not surprised if I win. He has no combat power except for Gargantuan. Nah, I'm not surprised if I win. I have heal reduction. But look, he just does this, right? Oh, frick, he got one-shot by the thing. <laughs> he got one-shot by the freaking Caitlyn. Oh, not one-shot, right? It's just the last 200 health or whatever he had, but she sniped him. Okay, we're in a filthy good position. We might genuinely win this game. Uh, we should use our one cost rerolls here. Because they are that cheap. That's insane. Another Lilia, friggin' three star Lilia, like a Bows. Probably not, right? I just sell both of these. But I'm, I'm, I'll get some money here, I can hold her. Three star Lilia could be my win condition. Probably not, though, right? Like, I don't have that many rolls. Ah, it's okay. I'm down for Dragon Claw, I think, but I'm not sure. Oh, nice. Oh my. Hello? I mean, I'm not leveling yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is already stronger, no? Actually, is it though? He's fully cooked. Okay, what, what am I What am I going here? Am I, am I going Dragon Claw? Am I going Adaptive? Not really, right? He's mana locked. Adaptive is terrible. I think it's just GS. I think it's GS, man. I'm not sure if it's Caitlyn or uh, Lilia. It's probably Lilia GS, right? It has to be Lilia GS. It has to be Lilia GS, man. Shoujin is trash on Lilia. I want blue buff eventually if I can. If I don't get it, I'll get it. Shoujin eventually. I don't have to roll yet. I'll roll after I'm level 9 here. I'm still winning. Do you think this is better? Makes her tank here, but he's not cooked. He's not cooked, he's not cooked. He is not cooked up. Two star, I would make the swap. Okay. This guy is three star Caitlyn, by the way. I just realized. This is so weird. How did he get it? I just realized, but it's fine. Like, Huey will cook her, right? Huey will cook her. The whole lobby is physical, so Dragon Claw seems trash, right? This guy's sniper, I really are, which is kind of insane. Level for, Mixty for Mr. 64 tuber, yeah, yeah. Let's level and throw the game for Mr. 64. That's really, that's a really cool tuber, man. Mr. 64 tuber, no. We will lose our win streak, that's perfectly fine. It's definitely Giant Slayer on Lilia, right? Well, the healing orbs is kind of big. <laughs> the healing orbs is kind of silly, man. I'm glad I took it. It's insane. And now it's 2 star now, of course, we make the swap. Don't I just play 7 Mythic at level 10? Like, I do, right? I just go level 10, I play 7 Mythic. Like, what else am I doing here? It has to be 7 Mythic level 10, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Guys, if, if Healing Orbs... If Healing Orbs was a guy, I would jerk him up. No, no, like, like I would. Sorry, guys. I have no excuse for that one. Sorry, guys. Sorry. This guy's eight duelist, no? No, he's not, man. He's playing a bunch of ghostly as well. It's weird. Weird team. He has dual emblem, but he's not playing eight duelist. I haven't seen that ever. Maybe it's viable. I don't know. Okay, this Lilia is doing insanely well already. That's not bad. That's good, yeah. That's good. She gives us AoE damage that we didn't have. It's not bad. 
Oh my god. For free, by the way. No one's gonna take it. If they take it, they're just griefing me, right? There's no way they take it. They're just giga griefing me. They have no reason to take it. Alright, GG. Deserved. That is a for free moment right there, guys. For free. <coughs> I mean, I'm going straight to level 10, right? I mean, I'm gonna use my rolls because they're free. But I'm going straight to level 10. I'm not even gonna use my one cost rolls. That's a level 9 shop, ladies and gentlemen. That is a level 9 shopity shoopity shop. What the frick is this? I'm freaking cheating, guys! Frick it, Lilia 3, I don't give a frick. Do you give a frick? I don't give a frick. I should probably use my 1 cost rerolls as well. I'll use them before the dragon again. For Lilia 3. Use the 1 cost rerolls for Lilia 3. So what are we going level 10 for? Nothing? I mean, I'm not rolling. Rolling is so bad if, I, if it costs like 3 gold per roll afterwards. So I definitely go level 10. But I don't know what I'm going level 10 for. I'm never 3 starring this trash. I could sell this guy at this point, but like it's way just prints you want. Like, I, like, yeah. Ah, GG. Oh yeah, whatever, we won the game. GG. Deserved. Holy deserved. That was so deserved, no? That was genuinely so deserved, this game. I literally did nothing. I just giga high rolled, man. Okay, but guys, is, does this game actually involve skill? It really doesn't. Like, my games today were either dead last and I have no counterplay. I just low roll so hard. I roll 50 gold level 7. Don't find a single unit that I need. And then here... Like, it's just the polar opposite, right? It's only those two things. Like, this game is just a gambling game. I don't know how they have esports. Like, how do the esports players keep their sanity? Like, this happens quite often, you know? Actually, crazy, man. How do they keep their sanity? Like, of course, there's skill throughout the entire set, right? Like, you play so many games of. Like, so many esports matches, right? But, like, you, you just sit down one day. One day is six games, right? Like, day one of a tournament is six, day, is six games. You can get unlucky three games and you're out. Like, of course that can happen. I don't know how they keep their sanity, bro. I'm already losing my mind in freaking solo queue. Who cares about this? They're not sane. True. Oh, yeah, roll. I rolled. Friggin', we missed like one maybe. We missed one roll there. Yeah, that's not bad. Um. Poo, do we just go Archangel or Nash's, Nash's Tooth on Lily, alright? Nash's Tooth? Like, out of those items, it's for sure Nash's Tooth. I don't think it's Death Plate on this go. It has to be Nash's Tooth on Lily, alright? Not a single tank item. It has to be Nash's Tooth. Thank you for the reminder, guys. Archangel. Archangel is... We have so much AP, right? Archangel Caitlyn. Oh, okay, you're just joking. Slam the cloak? I mean, on who, man? On Tom Kench, I guess? Frick it. I just go level 10? Do I even play Bruiser? Don't I just go level 10 and play Huey? Like, just play Huey, whatever. Play 8 Mythic, who cares? It's fine. Just print... Uh, unit. Tom Kenj gets this. Freak him. We just play Huey anyway. We print one Malphite, like a Baus. Print one Malphite. Call it day. Could also just ditch Malphite and play Mythic, no? Nine Mythic is probably more worth. I think she's better than Malphite. Mm. Maybe ditch her, play Malphite. Because this guy is such a beast, even like him. He's two from Orn three. Oh frick. Okay, but Loki he doesn't hit, man. No way he hits, bro. But I'll put Orn into the box. I 
Ah, no way he hits, man. He's, he's about to die. You know what? Low-key, I win anyway, no? If he hits, that just means I'll hit as well. Because the pool is so thinned out. Imagine champion duplicator. Oh, and this could be Radiant. Radiant blue buff. Frick it. Radiant blue buff late game. Ah, oh, frick. I mean, this is good, no? This is good. Like, this is really good. This is really good. Yeah, it is. Hurricane on him. Like a Baus. I can just rebuild him. Frick this guy. Alright, so you have. I'm leveling next turn. I'm leveling next turn. Sending 5 million gold. 3 star inbound. He's one off. Wait, he sold it. No, he's just rolling. He's not gonna hit. I think. He's he's I'm fighting ghosts, so they're fighting each other. I think I really are too clears him. This guy is stronger, no? He's playing five Dragon Lord. It clears him for sure. Five Dragon Lord, you're freaking dead, buddy. Say bye-bye to your Orn. GG. Bye-bye, Orn. Bye-bye, three-star Orn. GG. I lost to five Dragon Lord as well. This guy's strong. I mean we're guaranteed to win, right? Any four costs I need? No, but there's a blue buff. We take those. GG. Deserved. Could have gone redemption. Probably should have. Who cares? I'm heading three star uh, Lilia. Alright. Let's move. I've got big Uh, now what? Oh, look! Worth! Blue buff Lilia, Giga Biss now. Insane Lilia, actually. Still one cost rerolls, he might be dead. I I'm not gonna hit, guys. Or I could have hit, maybe, but I like... Like, what if I lose a fight? He's 5 Dragon Lord. It's, it's, not a, it's not a joke, he's strong. Like, 5 Dragon Lord is strong, but my Caitlyn just sniped. I think he, he, he lost because my Caitlyn sniped I really well. Nice. GG. Deserved. Deserved. GG. I could have kept rolling, but imagine the scenario where I use my rolls when they cost three and four gold, right? And then I have zero gold and I lose two more fights. I go into the next dragon, right? And then I get zero gold rerolls again, but I don't even have money to get Lilia. And then I just lose the game. How does that sound? How does that sound to you? Or, you know, like, isn't it a high chance to lose against a Dragon Lord after I just lost? And the only thing I upgraded is blue buff on Lilia and three star Malphite and playing a Huey with one star that doesn't do anything because I was already seven anything. Nah, guys, we just got lucky, by the way. The Caitlyn sniped I really are. That's the only reason why we won. We'll take it, guys. Subscribe to bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time.